you an evening guys. Um, we're, today we're going to make a very easy chili, uh, or lazy chili as I call it. Um, what you're going to need is two avocados uh, for the guacamole, we've got, we've got some coriander there, we've got two red onions, some of the red onion is going to go with the guacamole, two chilies, some garlic, celery, uh, some tomato paste, um, and 500 grams of with me and I can help you where I can. Um, you know, we can start cooking together. Alright, so let's get these uh, chilies in here with the garlic. Just going to brown off uh, some tomato puree. You know, this normally gives the meat like a really nice taste. And also, what you've got is uh, gives a colour, you know, a really nice uh, colour to the chilli. So we'll just do that a little bit, get that browned off. Now it's starting to look good. I'm just going to add the mincing now quickly. And then what we're going to do is get some mincing there. Um, Coriander powder. Come out. Get some of that coriander powder. And then we want some salt. And once again, I'm just using the vegetable salt here. Just get some of that in there. And some pepper. And 
that's all we need for now. Now if you are a vegetarian, you could use corn and beef mince if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can do this with it however if you're fit with it. So I'm just getting the mince brown off here. It's almost uh, ready there. And then what we're going to add in next is we're going to add in the tin of red kidney beans with uh, this hot sauce basically so it's got a heat of heat on there put that tin in there so that's all good ready to go guys we're almost there really um, and then it's just a, a tin of chopped tomatoes that goes in. And what you want to do really is you just want to get some water, maybe a half a tin of water. You use the same can as the tomatoes. Just get that in there. And then we just uh, just mix this up here a bit. What we're going to do is we're just going to we're just going to let this simmer away. Um, we're going to get the lid for it, and then we're going to simmer it away, you know, for 20, 30 minutes or so. And then uh, yeah, that's it. And then I'll see you guys in a bit. Right, so we're going <coughs> to just get the guacamole going quickly. Just going to use uh, half of this. Uh, off of this red onion, so we're not going to use all of it. But what you want to do with this one is obviously try and get it chopped up as finely as possible because you don't want big pieces of onions in your guacamole. What I'm also am going to be using to go in the guacamole is um, some crushed garlic. I know it's cheating, but hey, you know this is all about making it as easy as possible uh, for you guys. So that goes in there nicely with the red onions, and then we're going to get some of this uh, coriander. Get this, some of this uh, chopped up nice and fine. This gives it a lovely, lovely aromatic taste. It's so nice in there. So get that chopped up and we'll get that added in. Get that added. Get some of our avos here. I try to use like quite ripe, ripe and ready avos. Always just slice these like that just to make it a little bit easier when you try and crush it up. So I will be using two avos today in this recipe. So that goes in there with it like that. Get the second one just chopped up here quickly. There we go, just like that. So that's in there now. Um, and add the carrot coriander in there. Now you can add mayonnaise in here if you want to. Just add a bit of pepper. Um, if you obviously add mayonnaise, that will get it to go much 
further uh, with your guacamole. So I'm just going to get this all crushed up a bit and then I'll show you what it looks like um, at the end. There we go, nice and um, chunky pieces of guacamole. Very refreshing. It tastes amazing. So, just going to get that, put that in the fridge and then I like it nice and cold with a hot meal. It just is so good. Right. Well, let's see how the chili's going. Oh, steam it. Right, so yeah, no, that's, um, that's looking good. Just got to get the steam off here quickly. Hold on. Yeah, no, I think that's uh, looking good. Don't want to get in too close, obviously, because uh, my lens will steam up again. already cooked um, so now we just have to get the blee watered off and then I'll dish this up and then we're ready to serve right guys let's dish this up quickly like I said I'm using uh, the barley today it is a lot healthier than rice it doesn't contain much gluten or gluten at all and it's really rich in fiber um, so yeah, so this will be pretty amazing. Get some uh, coriander over for you guys, so you like that. And a bit of guacamole on the side. And there we go. It's all done. Let me know what you think of this recipe. If you like it, um, please subscribe and then we'll see you soon. Take it easy. Goodbye.